Yo, my people, welcome to my podcast. Um, finally, man, finally done. Uh, we're here today in TW Convos. Woosh, woosh. With Ish, my broski Ish. Yo, my bro. Thank you for being here, my bro. Uh, thank you for having in me. In this little man. introduction. Um, so today, basically, there's going to be a little introduction on my podcast. Um, we're just going to talk a bit. Uh, answer to some questions that people made on Instagram. Uh, and yeah, we're finally here in March. I announced my podcast last year and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna release a podcast. Be, stay tuned. But yeah, um after a couple of months we're here recording. Had a busy life, broke my finger as well. It's long. Um but yeah, I wanna I wanna thank Ish again to be here, bro. My my, my first episodes. Uh as NM says, it's TW Convos. It's basically gonna be always conversations there's always guests in my podcast i'm not going to be here alone talking about how was my week or whatever so was right to have uh a special guest unless here. there's a mad week episode. that you got to talk about you might just come and say yo yo my week started like these this and was, then hey like let me these. tell you the story <laughs> <laughs> let me tell you what happened in tesco you know what i mean hey trust me nah um yeah. But yeah, we just gotta just to give like a little brief on the, on my my podcast. The Double Conf is gonna be a podcast about creatives, creatives and influence people um, around. Uh, as everyone's know, everyone knows. Hopefully, I'm a photographer and videographer, so I just take pictures of people and I and I work with them. And uh, I just thought like, why not have conversation with the people that I work with, like artists, footballers. Um, DJs, uh, producers, engineers like ish, models, people with normal lives, but like understand a creative part of their lives or creative mindset they have. So yeah, that's that's the what the podcast is about. Um, and yeah, just to give a little introduction about me to the people that don't know me uh, very well and are here for the first time. Uh, I'm Thomas. I'm from Portugal. In Portuguese, we say Tomas. Thomas. But as we're doing this in, in English, I just gotta say Thomas, innit? Um I'm Thomas, I'm from Portugal. I'm 20, 20 years old, 21 soon. Big 21 soon in a mouth. Real, real, real big soon. party, big party. Mm-hmm. Um we all invited. You can check on my website, uh Thomasworkmedia.com. So yeah, uh Big 21 soon from Portugal, moved to the UK three years ago for uni and just started my career around like two years ago professionally and Ish is the right one to be here today because he was my first paid client ever. He said uh, to me, yo, bro, come here. Come up, a couple of pictures of my studio. Uh, he met me through an artist that I was working with. Um, Litos. Big up Litos. And Ooh. yes, it's like, history started from there. Crazy. 15 pounds at the time. Mm. 15 pounds an hour. Wait. 15 pounds an hour at the time. Then went up to 25 and nowadays we just Talk Make sure you can afford it. We'll talk, we'll talk about it in another episode. Um, uh, but yeah, man. Ish. Yo, my bro. Please tell me, bro. Give, give them like a little presentation of you, bro. Let them What know. you want to know? Obviously, I'm Ish. From West London originally. Came to Southampton in 2016. Tried to do the uni thing. Um, didn't work well. Didn't work out. But <laughs> whilst I was here, I was doing other stuff. And then I got into studio recording. And I learned the way up, and then I've always been doing sound from church from young. Yeah. And then um, yeah, just got into the studio side of sound engineering. I did. I did again the music part, the music That's, industry. Yeah, literally just basically like that. Sound, yes. Yeah, so also doing sound engineering and just, just working with different people and I just built that. it up over time. Literally, still going. I hear that. I yeah, hear man. that. Um. So yeah, basically we're gonna now just I'm gonna read a couple couple questions on Instagram. There were a couple. Want to reply to them so people get to know me better, get to know who I am and what do I do as ish as well. Um, let them know, man. Uh, so yeah, first question. First question people want to know: What made you move to the UK? Daniel and Leo made the same question. So basically, as I said before, uni, of course. Uh, just came for uni. I didn't have like a professional life. Uh, before that, so I just started here, bought my camera. So yeah, um, what's your dream job? The one I have right now. Oh, just told him again. Job. It's my dream job, honestly. But I want it to be bigger, you know. Uh, and at some point in my life, I want to have my my company. Um, I don't want to be a boss. 
but I want to work with people around me. Uh, I want to just like be able to hire people and yo, for example, uh, yo, I need an engineer for, for, for some project. I'll just show each, yo bro, uh, can you work with me in this project? Um, so it's easy for me to, to just work around things and I don't need to like have workers working for me and so I need to pay them every month, whatever, whatever. Um, so yeah, and hopefully in the future start doing ADs for uh, Nike, Adidas, all these big brands because I love sports, I love football in particular. So I'd love to be involved in all these stuff. Uh, clothing brands as well. I think that's all like little stuff to be honest. Um, what about you, bro? What's your dream job? What I'm doing, literally same as you. So just the sound engineer. The dream, ideally, I wanna be a sound engineer at Glastonbury. I wanna do the O2, but also just Woo-hoo! just to keep on doing mixes as well. So studio side, just mixing bigger artists. Okay. Just working with some of my goats. But yeah, man. But also the company that. Who are your goats? Just some some rappers, some singers. Yeah, but even the company SNR Productions. So that's like you're saying. So that's literally just trying to build that up all together and get everything moving. But my goals. Big up SNR. Be in the studio one day with Dr. Dre, why not? But just UK artists as well, UK engineers, just be in the same room and just work. That's what it is, man. Like, if I ask you, what's like, let's say, for example, everyone knew. Um, that my main goal was Central C, innit? Mm. And now Lil Baby, for example. I got a couple of goals after Central C, but Central C was the biggest one. Mm-hmm. For you, who's your main goal? Like, who's the person that you'll be like, I need to work with this person? I gotta do it. Mm. I gotta do it. Like, UK and worldwide. Personally, I don't have, like, a specific person that I want to work with, you know? So you have like that. Like it's just it's just to have to be in a position where I'm mixing sustainably, con- uh, to be continuously mixing tracks for high level mm-hmm. with, a, with a good pay rate. So you get me. So that like just being yeah. that like make it sustainable for itself. Yeah, I hear that. So an individual, I could be sit. I like to mix a track for Squeaks one day. That's someone I grew up listening okay. to all the time. Okay. Um, but there's so many people, bro. So just whoever, wherever I get to in the industry, literally. Nah, I hear that. It makes all the sense, though. Um, why not Sench as well? You get me? Why not? Mm. Why not? So, you don't have a person specifically. Mm. It's just trying to get to a certified level where I'm okay. just... You want to be in that level. Where that pe- level. people... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, who should I get to mix my track? Oh, it's, it's his mixes are cold. Uh, let me send it to him. You get me? That's yeah. where I'm trying to be. Yeah, oh, oh, what? I'm doing a gig at this venue. Uh, let me shout Ish to be the engineer. You get? Nah, I read that. I read that. I read that. It makes all the sense, though. For example, mm. me, I look, but it's a different, it's a different heart or profession mm, or whatever. Yeah. So I just look at people like goals because yeah, that's they, the aesthetic, isn't it? Like it's what you want to see. They they look they look so hard to achieve. Mm. You get know what I mean? They look so hard to achieve that I need in my head is like, this person is my goal. Mm-hmm. For example, if if I if you ask me right now, who's your goal right now? Like the biggest little baby, mm. it's something that is achievable, but it's hard to achieve because you. It's like it's I a, believe in you, though, man. I think you could you more than anyone else can do that. That to shoot little baby. I appreciate that, though. And to I, you to shoot little baby, you could do that this year if you wanted to. <laughs> if I want, like I want to, I want. You know, I want to. Yeah. But we got we gotta go with like wherever God takes you. Exactly. Like oh, patience is key, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Cost is key. Patience is key. Amen. And the biggest key is God. Mm-hmm. God is the key for everything. Mm-hmm. If you have a big door in front of you, God is going to open it for you. Yeah, facts. But you got to work for that as well. 100%. It's not just God. People just think like... Prayer oh, and action. Exactly. Mm. How do you manifest? How mm. do you... Whatever, whatever. Bro, you got to work for that. Mm. God is not going to give you nothing without work. You know what I mean? I think it makes it makes all the sense though. All the sense, literally. Because one thing that made me... made me in sh- that put me in shock one day was like in Parfait. Parfait is a club here in Southampton. Um, in Parfait, someone came to me like, bro, let me know, how do you manifest? And I was like, bro, I, mm. I don't. I think it's na- something natural. Mm. Like, people just sit there, like, people think that manifesting is like, just sit there in the room and like, I want to do this, I want to do this, I want to do this. Oh, I manifested enough? Okay, let me just play PlayStation. Bro, mm. nah. You got to go for it. 
just imagine make it happen, literally. if you're going to a shoot you can do that like just go for example you on the way to the shoot yeah just say you want to i want to shoot this guy one day i want to shoot this guy but like you're doing something for it mm -hmm. you get what i mean so what i'm trying to say is like for the people that are listening to us and people that want to be in the position that we are i'm not saying that we are somewhere else yeah, but yeah. like let's say in a good position in mm. in in the way to a good position let's say like that because i feel that i'm anywhere people love to say like oh you see see everything you done mm. okay i hear that but you gotta you gotta understand that it's the a goal work in progress exactly the mm. goal is the progress the goal is the path that you're doing mm -hmm. you know what i mean so like i'm happy to where i am now because i know like better people that are struggling to for example get jobs get clients get everything else and i'm, I'm just like working 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 and i'm happy with that but mm -hmm. um what i'm trying to say is like people just need to work for what they want it's not just ask and don't do nothing for that yeah, that's even when I got it, got into recording and yeah. I, was, I was coming to uni and mm -hmm. I, I changed on to a production, music production course. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking, yeah, I, I want to do this course because it's what I want to do. So I want to get on this course. I'm going to meet people that want to do the same thing. Yeah, I went to I went to the course. Nobody was actually recording. So, so what do you want to do with this? Oh, I'm just studying it. To oh, my see. day. It's that, bro. Like, let me not talk. Let me not talk. I want to I want to be in this room so there's other people that are in the same lane and going in the same direction. And that's yeah. when I realized you just got to do it for yourself and then along the way you'll meet people. Yeah. But like, um, yeah, man. So that's what I, the problem I had with like, the whole uni side of things is that you're studying to go a certain path, but where's the experience? Yeah, I hear that. And yeah, man. I, let me not even talk yeah. about it. It's a techie one though, isn't it? Because obviously... You, you, know, you know my opinion yeah, though. Yeah, the degree, degrees, it's a good thing to have. Like, obviously it's going to get you in certain doors that experience won't get you in, but experience will get you in certain doors degrees won't get you in as well. So it's yeah. all different angles. Uni, uni is a is a hard topic for me. Uh, mm -hmm. People people that know me, for example, people might be asking like, "Is in uni?" Yeah, I'm in uni, guys. I'm in uni. I'm studying media production in uni. I'm first year, and for the calculations that people are doing, like the maths, because I came to the UK in 2020. I was 18, mm -hmm. so I came to do foundation year. I done foundation year. I took a gap year because things went wrong in the foundation, and I could I couldn't get literally straight in the gap in the first year. So I took a gap year. In this gap year. So basically, that's my progress, isn't it? But like, this gap here, I just start working, working, working. So I took like a wall here, focused on work 24-7. How did I make money? I don't even remember, honestly. I was renting my camera. I made like 30 pounds a week. Um, I was doing football bets. My parents helped me. I didn't really get a job. Like, I used to work in a warehouse and... I don't know what else, but delivery as well, delivery, then delivery as well. But I just focused all my time in photography and video. That's how I just literally like learned everything I know today. And then I go into first year this year. So that's the calculations. Serious. So yeah, I go into first year, yeah. But this is so boring. It's so mm. boring. Um, And I just want to drop out. My parents are listening to this right now and they don't like it. But you well, need... it's understandable. Because yeah. to get a degree is still good and it's going to get you in places. But at the same time, if you've got the portfolio and the work, it's, it's not always necessary. It's a <sighs> mm -hmm. Like, people that are listening to us right now, I would love to have an opinion. Like, if you just want to leave in the comments on YouTube, if you want to leave in the comments, I would appreciate that. But for example, in my, in my opinion, yeah, uni is good for, let's say... If you want to be a lawyer, if you want to be a doctor, whatever, mm. whatever, or if you're on the very beginning start of an art career. Mm. For example, my parents sometimes, they love to play these, these information days. They love to play these part days. Um, never forget, why did you go uni? Mm -hmm. I was like, all right, but let's put it that way. So I came to uni because I didn't know anything about photography. And I thought, okay, I'm going to uni and I'm going to learn everything step by step. All the very bits I'm going to, all the small bits I'm going to learn. But then, on the back of my head, I'm like, if you already know, how are you gonna start? How are you gonna study for it? And then some people are like, ah, oh, but you're gonna learn more about it. Mm. Makes sense. At the same time, you have very famous directors, very famous photographers, everything else. They they like self taught, like self learning is very important. Mm -hmm. Some people can't do that. Some people need uni to to, to That's learn. That's what it is, yeah, literally. So yeah, like, if if I already if I started like doing my thing mm. after before uni and I already know now going uni doesn't make much sense because I already know everything that uni gonna teach me. Mm. So I came to uni first year, yeah, 
And why is this boring? Because so we they're teaching us how to use Premiere Pro. I already done it. I already done bad projects with Premiere mm -hmm. Pro. They're teaching us how to use cameras. Bro, I already know this, da 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 da. But like, I'm not even saying that uni is not needed. It is. Because there's people there that don't, don't know and they literally learning how to do it. Yeah, you that's what I mean? That's very true. They probably didn't like <clears throat> try to learn before they came to uni. You get it? So yeah, just my opinion. But like, I want people to let me know like, what's their opinion on that? Because I'm honestly thinking about dropping out of uni. But... Just depends the field and what you're actually what direction you're gonna go after. But as long as you're doing something that's productive and working, they, they can't fault you for for dropping out of uni. But yeah. But at the same time, it's always good to get a degree. So I'm not gonna be an advocate for dropping out. So uh, of course, and mm. like there's always like this piece of paper is always good, but someone mm. said to me, it was not me, I didn't say that. Mm. Someone said to me, Bro, your website will give you way more work than, than this piece of paper. Web, 100%. You get know what I mean? Because my website is my portfolio. The amount of work I have there is enough for an employee to come to me like, yo, let me see your work. Boom, 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 done. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I'm not saying that people are going to like my work or whatever. It's good or whatever. Just up to them. But I'm saying that this portfolio in my industry is more important than the piece of paper. But yeah, that's my opinion. Just let me know in the comments, guys. I'm I'm doing some YouTuber type shit now. Bro, Let, come on, man. in the comments, like it, and subscribe notifications. Watch, tell yeah? them again. Comment yeah, the yeah. notification, subscribe the belly belly button. <laughs> <laughs> oh my days. But yeah, next question. Next, next question. Let's go on. Let's move forward. Um, when did you know you love photography? I don't know. I don't know. I just felt that I wanted to follow this industry when I was watching movies and series and all these things when I started like looking at the series instead of looking at the content looking at wow this shot is nice wow this color mm. is nice wow amazing and i was like yo i might like this i don't know what about you bro well, when did you know like you wanted to do audio it's mad um is, is that question that we don't think about isn't it you know what it is in me i was always that kid that was always had my headphones in like okay. wherever I was, like I always have an earphone in or yeah. something. Like I've always loved music. I grew, I grew up with a musical family. My whole family played instruments apart from me, and um, it's just that's just been around me, innit? So it's just I hear you, man. when I got in the studio and I started to understand how to use it, I was like, bro, this is what I need to be doing. This is what I wanted. This is the only thing that I know now. Do you get it? Yeah. How much hours I've put into? So this is yeah, it's the right thing, man. I hear that, man. So. <clears throat> Um, Next what else question. do we have? That, that one here, that one here is a good one. That one here is a good one, yeah. Mm. And I even wrote a couple of names. So someone asked me, yeah, who's my photography inspiration? Mm. Let me tell you, y'all, yeah, I don't have one photography inspiration. I have like one, five, two, three, four, yeah. five, six, seven, eight. Let me tell you the names, yeah, because these people are cold. But when I tell you, like, that I look at them as in, like, my eyes, they shine when I see their work. Honestly, let me tell you the names here. Kerry Delmas, cold, cold. He works with Rafael Leon, cold. Shout out to Leon because I want to work with him as well. Leon, if you're seeing this right now, bro, just message me, please. Let me shoot you, bro. Let me work with you, bro. Please, I beg you, man. Um, Jack BGSD. Cold works with Memphis Depays, bare people, does video and pictures. Cold course, London photographer, amazing. Aruki design, shout out my boy Aruki. Phaser, shout out Phaser. These guys, these guys are doing the most, bro. Like, I'm proud of them. Like, people that I know, Aruki and Phaser, people I know them, I speak to them. Very nice people. Kieran C. Photo works with bare ballers and he's in the game for long, so it's a proper inspiration. 4K Boris, very cool with the videos, lifestyle videos, amazing, amazing, amazing. And Zach Snaps, Zach Snaps is outrageous. You see the, you see the pictures, Central Sea Dojica, when the video came out. Mm, All yeah. the pictures in like the, the um, sea and tones. Mm -hmm. Zach done that. Zach Snaps is a cold guy, bro. Well, that's Z E K, isn't it? Yeah, it's is cold. He's so. cold. Mm. He's proper cold. I want to bring him to this podcast. He will come to this podcast at some point. Yes, sir. 
but that's my inspirations, bro. These guys are cold, and if you if you check their Instagrams or websites, um, you're gonna see that they properly the same as I do. Mm. So that's why I really like them. And yes, for, for, so for the person that asked me, um, that's basically my inspiration. And let me tell the video inspiration, yeah, because I do video as well, and I put here down because these people are. I got TV Toxic. TV Toxic. Oof. Cold. You mm. know him. Bro, mm. TV Toxic is mad. Russ Millions. Mm. All these... Re- bro. Clavish. Stupid turnover. That's what I was speaking to you about. I remember they shot the... um. Oh what's my it? The, the one with um, Clavish, Young Steph, Rimsy and... um. Oh, yeah. Shot that and released it 24 hours. Edit. Crazy. And it's still a good Crazy. video. And the one in the Dubai and I think it was Switzerland. I think it's... Different? Difference? Mm. You know the one that he's like in the middle of the, the desert with the eagle on the shoulder. He's like Clavish. Yeah. yeah. You know I, the one like he's in the, the snow and then the the, the mm. sand. Bro, crazy, crazy, crazy. Like TV Toxic is a proper um videographer. I got Roman. Roman's a Portuguese guy, always admired him. He works with Wet Bed Gang. Mm-hmm. He's a videographer for Wet Bed Gang. Mm. Since Kid, I admire him a lot. LG Vision, so Tempton Bay's director. Seriously, cold. cold. So. Miles Suave, a film by Suave. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Clean. Cole Bennett, the biggest. Mm. Cole Bennett, the biggest. Like, he's not my type, but I watch him for long and I rate his work. He's not the type that I want to, because he do bare animations and that, but he's cool anyways. Walid Labry, he works with Cortez, with Clint. He does yes. the ADs for Clint. Oh, and bro, that's movies right now. Bro, Walid is Ridiculous. crazy. Um, and I got here, Don Prod. Don Prod is them guys, they're very famous on TikTok. Oh, okay. Like the, the little red logo. They work with um, Diggity. They do Diggity. They do Abracadabra. They done the... Um, what's this video? Oh, the guy that does the videos that he does like, talking to them about the... I did, I, this is how we shot the video. This, yeah, exactly. Yeah, how we shot the video. Heady, Heady One and the... Heady One, yeah. Abracadabra. You know the... Starts in the ice cream uh, mm. bit. Yeah. What's, what's, the, what's the song? Heady One, Abracadabra. I don't know the song's name still. But I know which one they're talking about. When they're in the ice cream truck. Yeah. Yeah, cold. Bro, they're cold. They're cold. But yeah, this is basically my inspirations, honestly. Do you have any inspiration in like in... Engineer sides. Yeah, man, definitely. Um, some UK ones, MSM the engineer, done like all Jamie, Ed Sheeran, all of them lot. Fumes the engineer, obviously you know of him. Yeah, um, of course. Sean, is the Sean D, designer. the plug, does yeah. like signature studios. Uh, if you see his credits, it's ridiculous. Yeah. And then even like Savage Dan, not just that like, in the way he runs his studio and behind so many podcasts and stuff like that. So, yeah. Oh, the one we go in London. Yeah, literally. Yeah, yeah. Big, proper big, guy, big man. legend. Still. He's a proper guy, though. Yeah, proper man. Um, question: What ma- what motivates me every day, bro? The passion I have for photography is crazy. Like I feel, I feel happy. I just feel happy. Mm. Just I don't know, man. When I pick my camera, yeah, I've been two weeks without my camera. Um, because I broke my finger on a scooter crash, guys. Um, it's, it looks a bit dumb, but it's drive easy, safe, easy. drive safe. Honestly, drive safe. <laughs> I broke my finger, and I couldn't uh, shoot for two weeks. I was mad. I was, I, I was. I was not, not even mad. I was sad. I was at home. Just wanted to cry. I felt alone. Doing nothing. That was that was crazy. But yeah, motivates me for days. Like, I just I just want to give a good life to people around me. For me, for my family one day. Um, and I want to work in what I love. Because if you do what you love, you never work. Right? Mm-hmm. So basically, that's that's what I want to do. You know? that's, that's what motivates me every day. I just wake up and feel like I have a shoot today. Please, that's a big day. It's like footballers. Oh, game day, big day. You know what I mean? Shoot day, big day. If I ever shoot every day, I'm a happy person. Tired, but happy person. Mm-hmm. What's your next goals? My next goals as in people, Jean Felix, Rafael Leon, Lil Baby, and Fredo. I want to work with these boys. Jean Felix and Rafael Leon, two drippy footballers. Uh, I don't know. I just, I just fuck with the vibe. Like, I just... The they vibe is just clean and Rafael Leo is so drippy that I don't know bro mm. like you know what I'm talking about yeah, yeah. bro Leon is cold like his speeches yeah I, sometimes I feel in my head like bro I can't do that I can't even do better if you want let me mm. shoot you and like he's Portuguese he's Portuguese what team he play bro. for now AC Milan okay. Italy yeah. This guy is in Italy. John Felix is close to us. Chelsea, London. Yeah. John Felix is in London. Bro, just shout me, bro. Message yeah. me. Felix, let me take pictures of you, bro. I promise you, they're going to bang. They're going to hmm. bang, bro. Trust me. Now that's big, big facts. Oh, no and yeah. Cap. Lil Baby and Fredo, 
Um, Fredo, yes, yes. Bro, Fredo, Get that done, Fredo bro. has to happen this year. From the ends, bro. It's going to happen still. Fredo Trust me. has to happen this year. Serious. What about you? Yeah, goals. We spoke about it before. Yeah, man. It's basically. What, what's the question? What makes you like, wake no, up no. in the morning? Oh, that's the first one before, isn't it? What's your next goals? Next goals? Bro, just keep going, man. Literally. Just keep on working. Keep surviving. Yeah, keep bro. Work, keep, keep on grinding. working. Keep just, just beating the odds. Literally. Yeah, man. That's what it is. Um, if you find Thomas 10 years ago, what would you say to him? Boy, that's a question and a half. Mm -hmm. Mads. That's mad. That's mad. That's mad. Got to think on that one. That's, yeah, that's a serious one still. If you find Tom, think about you as well, bro. I want to know. Mm. If you find Thomas 10 years ago, what would you say to him? Bro, Thomas 10 years ago is a 10 year old. 2013. 13, I was 10 years, like going to 11. 10 years ago, bro, I would say to him, just keep doing what you're doing because you're a dumb kid now. But in the future, you're going to make it. In the future, you're going to make it. But just don't lose your path. Don't change anything. Mm. Everything i done, I'll do it again. Mm. Because even the things I, I regret, things that I suffered for, I had to go through it to be where mm. I am now. Mm. Character because building, 100%. I am, I'm happy to where I am now. And I feel that. I wouldn't change anything for the world because I'm in the path. I'm, I'm not where I where I want to be, mm. but I know that I will be where I want. I'm on the way there. You, you get it? I'm yeah. on the way. Mm. Like, soon come. The I'm success the is coming, I'm on the bro. way. Mm. You get what I mean? So yeah, I would say to him, and Mini Tomash will be proud. Bro, I think Mini Tomash will be like, what are you doing, bro? I just want to play ball. Mm. And I want to I wanna ride horses because... Back in the days, bro, photography came out of nowhere, bro. I wanted to ride horses, be a football player. I wanted mm. to be a journalist. Nothing related with cameras. I was like, I was so lost in life when I was a kid. Mm, so yeah, I think bro. you'll be proud, but at the same time, you'll be like, bro, photography, what <laughs> are you doing, I didn't expect bro? this. Yeah, you know I, mean? I didn't expect my life to end up like that. Yeah, what about you? Bro, you know what I told myself? Believe in your blood clot source, bro. Literally, just keep on doing what you're doing. I never trust, doubt your thing because, bro, trust me. that's what it is. Like, obviously, so much of your childhood, you just, different things happen or whatever, end up in different directions. These times, it wasn't even my childhood. I was 16 probably, yeah. So, I was just finishing I'm school. I'm 26 now. Yeah, I was just 26. finishing school, going about. So, yeah, man. Just say, just keep, just pattern. Mini you, you'll you. be proud to where 100%. you are now. Because the yeah, thing bro. is, where I am now, with all of its stresses, it's still a place where I've always said I wanted to be. And some of the stuff came faster than I expected it to yeah. ever come. Yeah. But I'm still happy that we're here right now. And just got to keep on working and get even further. You get it? Thank God, man. Yeah, man. Thank bro, God. blessings. All the blessings to Amen. God, man. I'm telling you. Um, what's your favorite project? Central City, for sure. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know oh, that. Oh, oh, oh. Another thing that Ish is special is because this guy was... Bro, I went to Ish after I shot Central City for the first time because we had a shoot in London. Crazy. And I was like, the day be I knew the day before that I was shooting Central City. So I called him. I was like, yo, bro, I might not make it because I have a... Did I tell you? Yeah, you shot him. He said, yeah, no, was, this is going to happen. Oh, I said, yeah. oh, yeah. So I got to shoot Central City. Da, 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 da. Yeah, he was like, yeah, bro, do your thing. Don't worry. Because I was, like, I was mad right. because like, I need to cancel. Bro, do you know what, bro? We even need to speak about that because the first day I met you, bro, man said, listen, my goal is to shoot since. And then how many, like what, two, three months down the line? Literally. It just made it happen. No. Yeah, li yeah, something like that. Literally. It happened, so, bro. It was about time, though. It was bro, about time. It was only right. Everything is perfect timing. Bro, everything just it just came out of nowhere. And I, I was not even ready, bro. When I, I, I said, received hey, the if call. I see, hey, if you give me an opportunity to shoot Ronaldo or Central C. Central C, bro. Bro, I was thinking, 100%. this guy's Portuguese. How's he saying that? Bro. He said, nah, bro, that's the realness. I was like, I hear it still. I even said mm. Drake or Central C, but I, on, honestly, mm. I keep it the same way now. Of course. If I could choose again Central C or Drake, I would choose Central C because the experiences, the day, bro. Guys, there was the first time I shot Central C. Not the first, the very first time because mm. I've done three times. There was a second because this time I was working for him. I yeah. was in the show. I was with him on the backstage. Mm. The first mm. one was on a, on, a, on a release of the AP. And when I received the call, yeah, I was in, I was in, I was in the toilets, doing number two, <laughs> and someone called me like, "You're gonna shoot sense tomorrow." I was like, "What? A hundred percent sure?" And I was like, "Uh huh." So I didn't believe it, but like, I after that, up as well, man. when I felt that, like, 
which is mm. just crazy, man. I was like, bro, I need to call East right now to cancel the booking tomorrow. And then, oh my God. The maddest thing is you still made it. I still made it. This we, guy, I went real, sent. real guy. Real after that, Ish, Ish just knew everything, just went mm. through all the emotions and that. But yeah, it was crazy. Mm. Um, but yeah, favorite projects, Central Sea for sure. And Julinho, Wet Bed Gang, and Richie, because these are, these are special for me. Yeah, uh, top three Portuguese, my favorite Portuguese artist in Portugal right now. And right now and years ago. So work with them nowadays is just crazy for me. Like people that I used to listen to every day and I, I listened to them now. Yeah, and now I know them. Uh, I can just call them like, oh, how are you? How's life going? Blah, blah, blah. Just from idols to friends. Mm, and that's literally. really, really important. Um, have a really good connection with Jolinho. He's one of, one of the artists that I still work with like uh, very often. And he came to, to London. He was like, yo, Thomas, come. Da, 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 da. Took some pictures of him in London as well. Um, He's a really good friend now. He's a really, really good connection. But the rest are still lovely people. I love all of them. Yuri, Barbara, Nanny. Um, bro, Portuguese artists is always special because it's my language. It's my mm -hmm. country, isn't it? No, serious. Um, what about you? What's your favorite project till, till now? I can't lie. Um, I can't even speak on some of them still because it's not out yet. But oh. yeah. Yeah! I know that. <laughs> I know that. Uh, I know that. I just look now. I just look yeah. now. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. News coming soon. But yeah, no, just news coming soon. Big up, ish, ish, big ish. Nah, man. We're just, we're just working, yeah. man. But that's literally what you said. Just like working, meeting your idols and working with them. Remember we spoke about that another time when we were saying you're like always looking up to someone, growing up listening to someone, and then finally being in the same room and just being able to just say yo, yeah. this is what I'll do. And shout at me if you need me to do it. And they'll say, hey, bro, do this for me. He's like, bro, ah. this is mad. This is... You get me, so... Back you lit! Yeah, man. Back you lit-ish, man. You, could, you know on, what, man. bro? As soon as, it, as soon as it be announced, I'm going to share. People are going to see. Come on, G. Um, so, yeah. What, what else we have? Um, about personal life. Are you thinking about a relationship? Yo, um, let me be honest with you all. I don't have a relationship. I don't have a girl. I don't have any side businesses. I'm a single guy. Let me just work in peace. Um, if I need something, if I need a girl or whatever, I'll look for it. But for now, I'm just focusing on work. Sometimes relationships are distractions. And I'm not even saying that in a bad way, but people need to understand that if you want to really focus on yourself, you got to be alone and single. And you got to be happy with that. Because some people are so independent that they need someone. Do you agree with me? Well, he used to... Relationship are distractions, to be honest. Um, what was the hardest thing you feel now? Anything made you think of give up? Yes. One day I received a bad feedback on a work I done and I put my camera for sale because I was so mad that I was like, how can these people say that about me? My work is like that, da, 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 da. I didn't accept it. Um, fortunately, the feedbacks are always good. And when I receive some bad feedback, it's just, it's just mad for me. I don't know how to to work around that and yeah man I just I just went so down that I was all day in bed but yeah then I just fixed it and people were happy so it's, it's all good um, that's the thing about doing a job like this something that you're passionate about yeah. it's you gotta be careful because some of the work you're putting your whole energy into it so when you get f feedback that is sometimes it's constructive sometimes it's just nonsense Yeah. And it can throw your whole mindset. You're thinking, oh, this sounds so good to me or this looks so good to me. I put yeah. so much time into it. And then someone completely just shut it down. You're just thinking, what? Exactly. I, I, said, I said to the guy, bro, mm. I put my whole effort. That's the mm. best I can do. And I was like, you, to you me, this looks better. To me, this looks so cold, bro. But nowadays, like, yeah. I, I found this guy mm. like three weeks ago in Switch. Mm. I was like, yo, bro, I'm so happy to see where you are now. Da, 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 da. And uh, he was like, do you remember the conversation? I stopped him. I was like, bro, mm. Every time I speak to someone, I tell them about this conversation. Your conversation, the way you spoke to me, mm. helped me a lot to grow up. Of course. Like, to receive a bad feedback, but like a mm. constructive feedback, not like, your work is shit, redo, redo it. Mm. No, no, it proper like paragraph me. It was mm. like, wow, yeah. bro, this helped me a lot. On the time, I yeah. put my camera for sale, mm. but then when I like stand up and I was like, grow up, Thomas. After the, you know after I mean? the moment, you calm down and he's like, okay, let me, you get me. Oh, I hear it still. But yeah, uh, how do you approach people that you want to network with? Bro, just be you, man. Be be natural. Just go there and present yourself, present your work. Do say what you want to do. Uh, say what you want from them. 
just like, oh, I would love to know you. Like, just uh, if you could help me in anything. Um, I don't know. I think it just happens naturally when you have good, like, social contact with people. Mm. And that's nice. That's what I need to work on. <laughs> <laughs> He's an antisocial guy. No, but no, man, it's not even... But it's literally that as well. It's just being able to... Just big up people for what they do. Give people their flowers, isn't it? Yeah. Because it gets you true. far. And not even not even on a... What's the word? Not flattery, because that's a job that's not going to get you nowhere. Yeah. But actually just seeing someone that you rate and saying, yo, lo, man, actually rates your thing. Exactly. Don't be and, a, su- a dick yeah, sucker. Let's but, say it like that. But, but, yeah, don't be a dick sucker, but actually pay homage in the right way at the same exactly. time. Exactly. Just go there if 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 you want to work with someone. I know what you're bringing to the table as well. Because you're not, it's not some joke thing. That man's actually doing something exactly. serious. You get it? Just go so, there and like, oh, I appreciate your work, da, da 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 If we could work together, if you could give me some tips. But don't go there like, I'm your fan, I'm decent. Mm-hmm. No, 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 no. People don't love that. I so got these cheeseburgers, man. <laughs> <laughs> um, None of that. What camera do you recommend for photography? Sony Alpha. I have the A7 III. I would love to change soon. Uh, but yeah, for now, Sony A7 III is the best for me. Mm-hmm. If you have... Have experienced it? How is it to work with difficult clients and how do you manage it? Usually, girls are hard as hell. Girls love angles, they love poses, love everything. Like, guys usually are, are, are easy to work with. Um, but girls are a bit hard, but I just tell them, bro, just trust me. And they just trust. And yeah, man, it's just about it. Let the magician do his work. She gets Basically, bro. Mm-hmm. Um, any motivation tips? That's the last one. Uh, any motivation tips for those who are starting their creative career and see you as an inspo? I really appreciate that. I will take that as a compliment. Um, people that see me as an inspo, I, I really appreciate them. And I think, I think like, I'm anywhere, but people that see me as an inspo make me feel that I'm somewhere. Mm-hmm. So that's very good. And honestly, if you ever need any help, usually I, I like, I have Answer my request. Oh, could it take some time to reply to some questions? Oh, yeah, come. Just come to me. People help me in the beginning, so I'm going to help people as well. I'm That's going to give back. Is. Man's not Hollywood, you get it. Like, man's just a message exactly. away from that. Like, if you ever need any help, bro, just mm-hmm. ask me. Um, if you listen to it right now and you need help in photography, tips or whatever, just message me. I'll, I'll happily Serious. reply to it. Um, I'm not doing calls, calls, calls and meetings and whatever, yeah. but like, just message me and, and I'll, I'll be replying to it. Um, but yeah, tips, bro, just don't be lazy. That's the first one. Don't be lazy. Put Consistency is key. Seriously, exactly. Yeah, I have I have this uh, tattoo here. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, but it's like, put in the work, put in the work and the time will come. Literally like that. And the other side is, you miss 100% of the chances you don't take. Bro, risk it. Risk it. If you gotta, if you gotta pay a thousand pounds to shoot your favorite rapper, there's a big one. Risk it. Do it. Because you need it. You need to do it. Honestly. So risk everything. Put all the money in Equipment, whatever. If you don't hit for a week, don't hit for a week, bro. But like, no the risk, future, no reward. Exactly. That's no the, risk, no the reward. Mm-hmm. That's, bro, that's the sentence of the of this podcast. No mm-hmm. risk, no reward. Mm-hmm. Keep it in mind because on the start, every little investment, every little risk matters. It's not easy. And to start off with something that is creative or something that's a passion, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a mountain. It's gonna be ups and downs and crazy little exactly. angles you gotta go it's not a smooth it's not a straight road exactly. but if you if you really want to put the time in and if you really love what you're doing you're gonna just have to put the time in put the work in and you'll get there literally that's what it is man he said what he said mm-hmm. but yeah my people thank you so much we have Come 40 on, minutes of little podcast little introduction um, TWK TW Convos you already know the Serious. vibes follow inch on instagram if you want to know more about him just message him uh speak mm-hmm. to him you'll be coming back in some episodes soon again uh, because we have bare things to talk about this was just a little introduction hope you like it um mm-hmm. yeah i'll leave all socials and all information on the youtube and podcast description uh just let me know if you need anything from me never forget that i'm not a podcaster i'm a photographer and a video oh, maker sure. so message me for your shoots yeah rates just talk with my management and mm-hmm. yeah man ish thank you so much see you soon my broski uh, thank and you for having me man.